Hey everybody, my name is Blake Cadwell. I'm the co-founder at Soundly.com. And if you're considering the Jobber Enhance Pro 20 from Costco, this video is for you. Now you may know that Costco offers three hearing aid brands currently, Rexton, Philips, and Jabra. This video, we're gonna go in depth on Jabra, talk about the pros and cons, how this hearing aid stands up to the rest of the market, and what you might consider as you're making a final purchase decision. Now, if you haven't watched my full review on the Costco process, it's probably a good idea to watch that first. It'll give you a sense for the testing process, how the whole experience works inside of Costco. And then you can come back to this video and watch a bit more in depth about this specific product. Let's get into it. Now it's important to note that Costco does not actually manufacture their own hearing aids. Much like most of the items in the store, they work with manufacturers, they bring in products that they think are of good quality, and then they sell them at extremely low prices. Hearing aids are no different. And in the case of Jabra, they're working with a manufacturer called GN. This is the same manufacturer that makes Resound hearing aids at private practice and the hearing aids for Beltone, which is a chain of audiology clinics around the country. Interestingly, GN also sells directly to the consumer through their Jabra Enhanced Select brand, which we'll talk about a little bit more in just a few minutes. All right, so let's take a closer look at the Jabra Enhanced Pro product. And the way we're gonna do this is we're going to walk through our Soundly scorecard, which takes us through some of the key features that you'd find in any hearing aid, kind of compares them universally across the hearing aids that we've reviewed. So we'll start with the design itself. The design of the Jabra Enhanced Pro hearing aid is fairly standard in the market. This is a receiver and canal hearing aid, sits behind the ear, the wire that goes up over the top of the ear, and a speaker that plays the sound into your ear canals. One thing that's really cool about these hearing aids is that they've cut off size over the last few generations. And now Jabra's hearing aids are among, if not the smallest receiver and canal hearing aids on the market. We think that's pretty cool. The hearing loss level that this product is appropriate for goes all the way from mild all the way up to severe. Because Costco gives you an in-person hearing test inside of their booth, they'll have a good audiogram to match both the volume and the frequency outputs of your devices to match your particular hearing loss level. On the battery front, Jabra Pro hearing aids carry about 24 to 30 hours, depending on how much you stream and which size you choose of their devices. But you're going to get more than a day's worth of charge on every single recharge. So if you drop your hearing aids into your charger every night, you pull them out the next morning, you'll be absolutely fine. You shouldn't run out of battery. Now it is worth noting that the recharge case that comes along with the Jabra hearing aids does carry three additional charges without a need to be plugged back into the wall. So if you're taking a weekend trip or you're away from your home, you've got a good option to get some power on the go. When it comes to Bluetooth, Jabra has made some really big strides in the last year. The new Jabra Pro 20 hearing aids are Bluetooth low energy capable. That means that they're future-proofed for audio experiences like AuraCast, which we expect to roll out over the next few years. AuraCast is not broadly available, but in the future, we expect that when you walk into an airport and they play a PSA, you could actually stream that directly into your hearing aids. Or similarly, you could do that at a church or at a theater. This is a really exciting update into the hardware and the firmware of this particular device that will allow you to access Bluetooth experiences deep into the future. Now, of course, this product also streams phone calls and music and podcasts into your ears via your iPhone or your Android device. So very connected device. Really, this can operate as a pair of headphones or a headset as you're taking phone calls. One important note on the Bluetooth front is that until Bluetooth Low Energy becomes more popular in Android devices, there are only certain Android devices where you can take a hands-free call, essentially meaning you can walk away from your phone. With other Android devices, you'll still need to keep your device close by so that it captures the outbound sound. You'll hear the sound coming into your ears, but your phone will be capturing the outbound sound. Newer devices are expected to catch up with this, but it will take some time. When it comes to dexterity, we think this is a pretty strong product. The fact that it doesn't require battery changes really helps folks who have difficulty handling finer pieces. And the charger itself is very easy to use. It's not hard to drop the hearing aid in or pull it out each day. And then finally, on the waterproof front, the Jabra Enhanced Pro 20 hearing aids are IP68 rated, which means you could put them underwater for a full 30 minutes 
about a meter deep, and they should be just fine. We don't recommend that you swim in these hearing aids, but if you accidentally jump into the shower with them on, or you splash them with some water or drop them in some water, they'll be just fine. And that's a real reassurance to anyone who spent a lot of money on some high-tech devices. Now we're gonna talk about the app and some of the customizations you can make in just a second. But you might be wondering, what about the overall sound quality of the Jabra Pro hearing aids? Now, what we've noticed is that these hearing aids have a brighter, crisper sound quality than some of the other hearing aids on the market. Rexton and Philips, we notice have somewhat of a chiller or a softer sound. For those folks who really want clarity, Jabra is a fantastic option, and maybe that's why they rate so highly in background noise. They've invested heavily in how they manage really complicated environments like a restaurant, a bar, a loud football game. I've worn this product in each of those settings and have always been impressed at how confident I feel that I'm hearing the voice of the person with me or the person that I'm looking at. All right, so let's take a look at the Jabra app and some of the customizations you can make on a day-to-day -day basis to manage the sound that you're actually hearing. Now, this is one area that Jabra really excels over the rest of the market. If you look at the reviews and the ratings on the Apple Store or the Android Store for most of the major hearing aid manufacturers, Jabra or GN or Resound almost always come out on top. And I believe that's because their app is really simple to use, but it also gives you a ton of customizations. So when you open up the app, the first thing you're going to see is you'll have your major programs. It's always starting automatic, but you could flip into a noise program, an outdoor program, a music program, etc. Now it's worth noting, you'll only get four total programs inside of your job or hearing aids. That's usually enough for folks, but you'll have to kind of prioritize which modes or settings you wanna be able to quickly access through the app. Now within each of those individual programs, you can update the volume of your left and right ear independently. You can also manage the EQ or the balance of sounds from high to low to mid frequency. So you're really becoming your own DJ in each individual program. Now I find that I leave my hearing aids in automatic most of the time and they perform really well. That's just how I prefer to do things. But a lot of folks like having that customization, the ability to play with different things and experiment on their own instead of relying simply on their professional to make all of those changes for them. Now, one of the really exciting features inside of the Jabra hearing aids is the tinnitus management feature. Inside the app, you can choose from different soundscapes, you can customize that sound, and then it will play into your ears, which can often soothe the symptoms of tinnitus during the day and make things more bearable. The final feature that I really love inside of the Jabra app is the noise management feature. So you can go in and you can decide how much outside sound you want to allow in or how much focus you want on speech. I find that playing with this and moving perhaps to the strong noise management or sort of a midpoint or a low point really gives me a lot of control around how much I'm hearing around me versus how much I'm hearing the person standing in front of me. All right, so there are clearly a lot of upsides to the Jabra Enhance Pro offering. It's a very fairly priced premium clinic grade hearing aid with lots of app customizations and personalized care from a trained professional. There are a few downsides in my mind that are worth noting. The first is a pretty minor one, and that is that you'll need to have a Costco membership in order to access Job Enhanced Pro hearing aids. It's really no big deal. It's about $60 a year, and it might be something you already have. Certainly, it's something you could get value from otherwise if you do other shopping at Costco. The other downside is that Costco currently does not offer a cross option. So if you have significant hearing loss in one ear and you need the sound to be ported from the other side over to that ear, you'll need to go to a clinic for that type of care and those type of devices. The final downside to getting hearing aids and Jabra hearing aids in particular at Costco is that you'll need to be there in person. Now for some folks, that's no big deal, but for others, a Costco is a long ways away may be really inconvenient to drive back and forth for appointments. Thankfully, GN and Jabra have an option for folks who are far away from a Costco or who simply prefer to get care remotely. And that is through their Jabra Enhance Select brand. Yes, I know these names get confusing, but the Jabra Enhance Select product is essentially the same product, a Jabra hearing aid shipped to your home, customized to your hearing loss, and then you get remote follow-up care from Jabra. One upside to this product is that everyone you'll interact with actually specializes in Jabra. So they're gonna know all the tips and tricks on how to manage the product to your particular hearing loss. You'll still get access to the Jabra app and the overall technology that makes Jabra so impressive. From a price point, 
Jabra's online and in Costco prices are very similar depending on the promos that are running. So you're really looking at which care model fits your particular taste. Regardless of which care option you choose, we think Jabra hearing aids are one of the best options on the market for both value, customization, and premium features like rechargeability and Bluetooth connection. We hope this has answered some of your questions on Jabra Enhanced Pro and the Jabra offering overall, and we wish you the best in your research.